I want to talk about the name, the word bloke. Um, I mean, I, I often talk about this in terms of names for businesses. Um, I mean, one of the most famous names ever is a virgin. Um, and if you do, do some examination of it, um, it's a, it doesn't really matter, matter whether people like the name or not. And to some extent, con controversy is good, but as long as I remember it. So it's a name that's memorable, virgin. Mm -hmm. Bloke is a smart name. Is it, it's just a brilliant name, particularly when you associate with beer. And then the footy guys, and by the way, probably the footy girls too, um, they get it. You know, it's, 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 it can sort of become cultish. Yeah, absolutely. For me, what it looks like to me, you'll turn this to a cultish thing. <laughs> yeah, a commu I, I like to say community. <laughs> yeah, community is a nice way of saying it. It's a positive way, but it's, it's not a bad cult, but it is a cult. Yeah, it's like... It's cultish. I took a lot of um, inspiration, and I know this is such a clear answer, cliche answer, but from Apple, you know, so... The way Apple works is basically it's a computer company that makes phones, but you don't think about that. You just you see Apple, and it exists externally from a product, yeah. and that's the way with bloke in a bar. It it yes, we are a beer, but we also sell merchandise, and the merchandise flies off the shit. Like we sell thousands of shirts, um, and so oh, yeah, got your jump. Funnily enough, there we go, bloke. <laughs> I love it, bloke. I'm going to be, I'll be wearing that later. Nice. Good nice. colours too. Yeah, it, well that's, and that's the, the whole feel of it. So when we did the, the design and the, and the branding, was I took in pictures from the 1990s of footy and 1980s, and the whole feel is like a throwback to, you know, when, when blokes were blokes and it was okay to be a bloke, and not the negative side of it, but the positive side of being a bloke, you know, about honesty, integrity, and being there for your By the way, do you think it's still okay to be a bloke? Or do you think it's... Uh I mean, like, do we have to worry about that shit? Like, um, I'm old enough not to worry about it. I'm also old enough to remember when a bloke was a bloke. You know, um, or do we have to be, you know, everything uh, and uh, really conscious of all those other things? I mean, do we have to give in to um, pressure? Look, I, I think um, I'll, I'll, I'll pass this from my, my partner's perspective, my, my, my wife. Um, she says to me that, you know, she wants more blokes. You know, she, she's dated guys that were not necessarily very blokey or strong or, you know, um, decisive and, you know, honesty and all the, all the stuff that gets conflated with negative masculinity. A lot of women, in my opinion, again, I'm not speaking for them, actually like that yin and yang environment of like, that's a bloke, he's strong, he's disciplined, he, you know, blokey things. Um, so I think there has been a kind of a conflation of there's, there's two sides of masculinity. There's the dumb side where blokes do stupid shit. They fight each other. They, you know, yeah. they do. They, they, there are negative sides, absolutely. But there is also a lot of positivity that blokes bring, um, and I think that that's what the brand tries to shine a light on. Is like, you know, not the negative stuff. You know, that's anyone can be a dickhead, whether it's a female or male. It's the positive side of, of, of masculinity, mateship, camaraderie. You know, working together, all all of that stuff, and it has really resonated. So. Look, I do think there has been a push against the bloke, but I also believe that if you're a real bloke, you don't listen to that. You you stick to your principles and you do as your father or or the male figure in your life showed you in a positive light. In, so, in my opinion, so because because I, mean, I guess we're getting a bit deep here, but like I actually want to go there. Um, not too many people in business. A lot of people in business would be worried about would be worried about promoting the word bloke. Um, you're not because you're t saying I'm just promoting the the positive side of it. I, I'm not I'm not worried about the negative side of it. You guys think what you like, yeah. um, but I'm promoting the positive the positiveness of a bloke. And by the way, if that only appeals to fifty percent of the population, that's pretty fucking good. Yeah, <laughs> because that's a big part of the population. Um, but it's a it's a brave thing to be able to shine a spotlight on a word called bloke which has all sorts of connotations to all sorts of people but at the end of the day not everyone's going to be a customer no, no. and you don't you know i think there's too much emphasis today trying to please everyone in the world like oh, oh shit because when you do that you become paralyzed you don't please anyone because no. you don't do anything you don't Absolutely. do anything you Absolutely. end up calling it uh i don't know what you call it you call it some other name it's, it might be you know xyz <laughs> because you you sanitize the process so much and you analyze it so much, yep. it becomes paralytic. Yep. You know, like it's just, it's it's dumb for yep. me. And I quite like the fact that you're prepared to stand up. You've got the guts to say, look, I like the, the positive attributes of what are traditionally considered a bloke, at least in this country. I'm going to call my business bloke in a bar or my beer bloke in a bar and maybe one day it becomes bloke. Um, and I'm proud enough to stand up and uh, 
promote that. I mean, yeah. there's there's not many people around like that. And I think that actually wins you prizes. I think that win that wins admiration, and I think that actually adds to the brand. And if what you're saying is going to shine a light on those things that represent a bloke, there's nothing wrong with that either. No, no I mean, like, I mean, and and maybe every single person you get in has a different attribute that come, who comes into your show. They have different attributes. And if, as long as they're good quality, positive attributes that add to society and community and to all their family, then what the fuck? I mean, what's wrong with that? Absolutely. And that's, that's where I, um, I'm extremely confident. We will have a positive impact on, impact on blokes. If you want, oh, I'm extremely confident in saying, if you want your son or your partner or whatever to emulate the, the traits I'm trying to promote, I think they are good traits for men to have. And I think that they will make the world a better place. So it's not... It's not this or that or, or, you know, blokes are good or bad and women are good or bad. It's a set of principles that I feel that a lot of blokes, um, it's kind of been, the water's been muddied as to, you know, what it is. to. I mean, these days, if you said to a 16, 17-year-old male, what is it to be a bloke? A lot of young men wouldn't know, you know. And I do think there is a whole generation of young men that um, are struggling to find identity. You know, when I grew up, um, my father, he helped disadvantaged kids, and but he taught me so much about honesty, integrity, standing by your mates, all the good stuff. He didn't t- teach me, you know, go out and bash some bloke and, you know, drive cars fast and do dangerous things. Like, yes, that is a negative thing that a lot of men fall victim to, especially the 18 to 25-year-old, full of testosterone and just do stupid shit. Like, you know, for, th- for thousands of years, they'd go away to war and get rid of all of that shit, whereas we don't really have that anymore. So um, They create their own wars. Exactly, exactly. And so if we can somehow you know long term create an environment where young men can go that isn't the way to go this whole carrying on like a dickhead and thinking you're tougher than the next bloke and blah 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 and we go this is actually what a bloke is it's about being sturdy respectful discipline you know look at mixed martial arts in my opinion is is such a perfect example of of like you know you can learn so much as a bloke from that you can you can learn it's not about being tougher it's about discipline it's about respecting your opponent or your teammate um, it's about understanding that there's always a bigger battle wolf than you so don't carry on like you're a hero um, all, all of that stuff that's what I'm trying to promote so the the, the larrikin side is fun in there is some good things about being a you know a, have a few beers you know have a bit of a laugh but not the negative nonsense of like a dickhead just a dickhead everyone yeah. knows what a dickhead is whether female or male just a dickhead that's carrying on we have plans eventually to have you know nights in pubs where it's just a bloke night. You come down, you have a beer, you just talk any issue you got. It's 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 not too serious in the sense of you know a really sterile environment. You know it's at a pub over a beer, um, and you just talk to your mates about whatever it is. We we definitely have plans to go down that route eventually and try to positively impact um, you know men and young men. I mean I think you know male suicide has actually increased recently over the last you know one of the worst in the world. It's one of the worst in the world, and I I think that. Um, you know, it's going to take other men to help men not do that. And uh, that, that is the end goal. Obviously, we've got a long way to walk. Before. We've got, you know, all other moving pieces to get there. But the, the end goal, you know, it starts with rugby league and, and trying to help the rugby league community. Then it extends to the sporting community. And then I hope eventually that, you know, bloke as a brand can be seen as a positive impact to masculinity in Australia, not, not a negative one. Positive, positive impact to... Just society, really. But it's also okay to be masculine. Absolutely. And Absolutely. You don't, you know, by being masculine, you're not uh, denigrating uh, fem- females. Um, if anything, you're raising it up, in my opinion. You're raising up um, the femininity and praising it and, and give, giving it a, if, if they need a platform, giving it a platform to be the best it can be. In my, That's what I feel that a man should always do is, is put his family, whether it be his kids or his wife, in the best position they can be in if they want that help. If they don't want that help, that's fine too. Um, that's in my opinion. That's what it's quite a, quite an interesting. Um, it's quite interesting. Like we're, we're talking to someone here who's got a a, a podcast who talks to footy players who's got a beer brand, um, and all of a sudden now we're talking about um, standards of virtues for young men. Um, that's a, that's a big leap, but it's quite admirable from my point of view, and I think it actually adds to your brand. Yeah. Um, you know, your objectives and your purpose. I mean, that's really your purpose. It seems to be your purpose. Yeah, absolutely. And it's probably one of the reasons why it's so successful. It's probably the reason why it's not it's not a, a big ask for you to get influential rugby league players to come and say something about your beer. 
Yeah. Because they, I guess they get it. I mean, they might not get it specifically, but they just get it. They say, well, I want to talk to this guy. Uh, I feel right, and I'm actually, I'm. A, it's okay for me to speak the way I, about what I feel. Yeah. And and, uh, and it's actually okay for me to speak about topics that ordinarily I wouldn't want to talk about with, around my teammates. And ordinarily, like as a society, sometimes we feel embarrassed to talk about masculinity. Absolutely. It's like you're going to get hammered. Absolutely. And you, you can't. And 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 by the way, just sitting here with a beer. Um, that's sometimes associated with larrikinism, but actually, well, for me, to be honest with you, why I'm happy to have a beer now, I'm celebrating something that I'm really happy with that you're saying. I'm actually celebrating that we can be a bloke, yeah. but at the same time, being, by being a bloke, it doesn't mean I'm uh, disrespectful to anyone else. No, no way. Cheers. Cheers. That's Absolutely. really brilliant. Absolutely.